This is All in the Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. In the wake of COVID-19, we appeal to our listeners not to lower the guard, take all precautions, and all those above 45 years of age who have taken the first dose of COVID-19 vaccine to get vaccinated with the second dose at the scheduled time. Stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask. Maintain Dogas ki duri for social distancing. Focus on hand and face hygiene. National helplines are operational for providing COVID-related information and guidance to the people. The national helpline number is 011-239-78046 and 011-239-71075. And the helpline for Meghala is 108 and 1070. And now the news in detail. Union Minister of Home Affairs and Cooperation Amit Shah met with the Chief Ministers, Chief Secretaries and Director General of Police of the Northeastern States in Shillong yesterday and discussed several issues of importance pertaining to the region. These included security, tourism, settling of the interstate boundary disputes and enhancing the economy. He assured that there is no limitation on budget for Northeast, but there should be proper utilization of expenditure. Mr. Shah laid the foundation stone for the Multi Purpose Convention Center and Exhibition Facility of the Northeastern Space Application Center at Umyam. He also inaugurated the cytogenic oxygen plant at Umsoli in New Shillong. Union Home Minister Amit Shah yesterday inaugurated the interstate bus terminus at Muyong in the outskirts of Shillong. Minister for Development of Northeastern Region D. Krishan Reddy, Union Minister of State for Science and Technology Dr. Jitendra Singh, Meghalaya Chief Minister Kanur K. Sangma and officials were present on the occasion. Mr. Shah said that the central government will connect all capitals of the northeastern states with railway and air connectivity by 2024. He said that ISBT will be a center for economy and lead Meghalaya and other northeastern states to the path of development. President Ramnath Kovind has congratulated Mirabai Chanu of Manipur for starting the medal tally for India in the Tokyo Olympics by winning silver medal in weightlifting. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated Saikom Mirabai Chanu on winning silver medal at the Tokyo Olympics. Mr. Modi said India is elated by Saikom Mirabai Chanu's stupendous performance. The Prime Minister said her success motivates every Indian. In Manipur, 1198 persons were confirmed as new COVID-19 positive cases yesterday. On the other hand, 14 people expired due to COVID-19 infection. Also, 872 COVID-19 patients were discharged from hospitals after recovery from the viral disease. Meghalaya recorded 693 new COVID-19 cases, 5 deaths and 590 more recoveries yesterday. As the number of cases and deaths is increasing, the general public has been urged to not ignore any signs and symptoms of COVID-19 but to report and get tested at the earliest. so that proper care can be advised and monitoring can be done. East Khasi Hills Deputy Commissioner Isa Wanderlalu informed that a majority of the COVID-19 related deaths were reported from rural areas that of persons who were not vaccinated. The data that is emerging every day strongly indicates that those who are vaccinated, even if infected, have a much lower chance of developing serious symptoms, hospitalization and of dying. The DC urged all eligible citizens to get vaccinated against COVID-19 without further delay. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people in the country and abroad in the Mann Ki Baat program on All India Radio at 11 a.m. today. This will be the 79th episode of the monthly radio program. It will be broadcast on the entire network of All India Radio and the Darshan and also on All India Radio News website www.newsonair.com and News on Air mobile app. It will also be streamed live on the YouTube channels of All India Radio, DD News, PMO and Information and Broadcasting Ministry. 
All India Radio will broadcast the program in regional languages immediately after the Hindi broadcast. The regional language versions will be repeated at 8 in the evening. And with that we end the news from the station of All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.